welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. Your host, Jeff Cork, joined today by special guest Alex Van Aken. Hey, how are you? I'm doing very well. Alex, everyone should know you're my new best friend. Yes, it's true. We're having a great time together. We are. Just racing so, down the highway together. Just racing down the highway. I am Thelma to your Louise or vice versa. Yes. Who knows? So <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So, Alex, what are we looking at here? Uh, today we are looking at the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit remaster um, that is coming out uh, very soon, and uh, this is a remake or a remaster rather of the yes. game that was released in 2010. Not, not Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit, which initially I thought it might be. This is the 2010 yes. remaster. It's a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, this is uh, the first race that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, it's an interceptor challenge, so. Okay fans of the series will know you know you're kind of the goal is to uh take down a specific target mm -hmm. um and in this case we have we can employ like roadblocks and all that fun mm -hmm. stuff perhaps this isn't aged well but what can you do context <laughs> is king, right exactly exactly all right so this one was like this was on like the xbox 360 era i think rivals was the first one on mm -hmm. last gen right so correct yeah i remember rivals was i didn't i actually did not play the 2010 hot pursuit um i was a major fan of hot pursuit one or i'm sorry underground one and two uh then as well as um the the game that released on the xbox one at yeah. launch so well, there we go. We busted, busted. them. That was a very quick one. Yeah. Um, but we have we have other races. I think we're about to jump into a hot pursuit um, okay. as a racer. So we're going to be racing as uh, we, I like the RX-8. Mm -hmm. um, but in this case, I'm going to go with the Charger. Um, yeah. Just because I think we've got a little footage later on of the RX-8. Nice. So, yeah. So as far as you could tell, has the like the car selection changed at all? I, I, Not I, I really. Imagine. Okay. Yeah, I believe it's the same cars, uh, and, and, and it's nice, though, because you unlock them fairly quickly. Yeah. I've probably played about an hour and a half so far of mm -hmm. actual racing, um, yeah. and I've unlocked a good portion of cars on both the police side of things the, and then also on the racing side of things. So mm -hmm. I believe this Charger is the third or fourth car that you can unlock. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this, this race is a lot of fun. Um, so in this case, we're going to be hunted down um, by the police here in a second. We're going to be speeding and they'll catch us and you'll see right here oh in a few gosh. minutes. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole story. I know, right? Jeez. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it's it definitely feels like a 2010 game, um, mm -hmm. but it's still fun. It's still kind of that that classic Need for Speed gameplay um, that I think a lot of people are going to uh, going to appreciate on the PS4. Yeah. And I should say there are a couple frame skips in this footage. I believe that was my Elgato acting up and not the actual gameplay. So now we are in pursuit. There's a police officer chasing us. So much like the, the police officers, they've got roadblocks and things they can use. You can mm -hmm. kind of yep. transfer aggro. As exactly. To... Yeah, you can. I mean, typically they seem to want to go for you, but they will if you um, the, the officer just wrecked in my rear view. That's what I was looking back at. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they will attack other cars um, yeah. and you can kind of play, you know, be strategic with where where your mm -hmm. your racing line is going and where you're headed. Yeah, probably in retrospect, that Grateful Dead bumper sticker was not a good move. That's why they're <laughs> so fixated on you. Exactly, that's exactly it, Jeff. But yeah, so they can employ uh, roadblocks. They can employ <laughs> EMPs. I think there is even helicopters. Um, I have oh, not no. unlocked that ability yet in my gameplay, but I know that there was an option that was grayed out for me. Um, so yeah. Was that one of their tricks? Is making that giant landmass appear directly in front of exactly. you? Exactly. That was yeah. That oh, was that was totally cool. not my driving skill. That was <laughs> that was a, either a glitch or definitely an ability. Or maybe they switched they your gas and brake pedals. I Who think so. There, I think there's some tampering going on here. Yeah, but, absolutely. Well, but the, the rest of the race gets pretty uh, pretty wild. I'll say. Yeah. Um, that was probably the biggest hiccup in this race. But then mm -hmm. we get some great footage of us. We're gonna get some takedowns here in a second. Uh, and this is really the race that like, no, there's one we got we got one of them, uh, and we popped a trophy. How about that? But um, but yeah, this race was really what got me. I was really starting to feel it here because yeah. I had my own hiccups through this race, but at the same time, um, I end up winning and, and getting this great takedown. Um, and yeah, it's just a lot of fun and kind of reinforces that that gameplay that Need for Speed really just excels at. Yeah, absolutely. 
So, like, if someone has not played a Need for Speed game, it seems like it, in a lot of ways it kind of occupies a similar space as maybe some of the burnouts. Yeah, would I would say so. Yeah. yeah, that's that's pretty fair, Jeff. Um, there's a there's a higher emphasis on this um, with the takedowns, and I think that's especially where that burnout uh, comes into play. Um, I, I I'm more of a fan of. I feel like burnout does really excels at at these sort of things. I love when Need for Speed is more open world, which there is there is a like a free a free racing area, a free racing mode in this game where you can just drive around and explore the highways and all that. That's really fun. Um, but of course, today I'm just showing off some of the more structured pursuits yes. and, and interceptor challenges and that sort of thing. But yeah, there's a lot to offer here. Man, there it goes. I know we're, we're getting close. We got a mile left, a little bit. Oh no. Here we go. We're going Trains in for paint. it. Oh. There we go. We got him. And then up, oh, we're in second place now. We're gonna try to catch oh. up. We've got ha less than half a mile left. Are we gonna do it? Yes, we are, Jeff. Oh Here my we go. lord! Look at this pro racing. Wow. Pro street racing. And you're gonna right get here. your damage deposit back on that rental agreement. It's fantastic. <laughs> Didn't exactly. need the insurance. You exactly. So that was a hot pursuit. Um, those are like those are some of my favorite races. Yeah. Um, and now we're gonna take a look at another. Um, this is going to be another um, cop chase. This is a hot pursuit on their side of things. Um, and so we're going to be trying to shut down a race um, by you know just smashing cars yeah. together. So as one does. As one does exactly. But and I am using the Mazda RX-8 uh, on this mm -hmm. race. That's one of my favorite early, like, I feel like Need for Speed, there's always some sort of Mazda. I, I think the RX-8 has been in plenty of games for Need mm -hmm. for Speed, but I usually gravitate, gravitate to that sort of car yeah. in the early hours of Need for Speed. It's got good control. It's got fun speed. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to, there's three racers we're going to try to take down. And this yellow mm -hmm. one is, um, is I blew past him, but I think I'm going to try to try to let him catch up and then take him out first. But. Smart. Yeah, this seems like the kind of cop car that should have like dare branding all over it. <laughs> exactly. It's a traditional cop car. Oh, <laughs> That's incredible. look at that. A pit Ooh. maneuver. Yep, yep. And I almost hit oh. the side rail, but I but I but I dodged it. Oh, he's having a bad time. Oh yep. Mm. There he goes. Question. Yes. Do you think this game would be better if when you did that to a convertible you saw the guy fall out of the car? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> just let me have all the carnage mods or, yes. or I think that would really just like sell yeah. the sell the experience. <laughs> I might really not might not be appealing to, you know, uh, families that are looking to buy mm -hmm. their kids a new racing game, but yep. for me, yeah. I think it'd be very entertaining. Absolutely. Should that like the thing like you know, adjust the contrast so the logo is barely visible. Yep. Are you a psycho? <laughs> yes, no. Yep, exactly. You know, the standard, you know, preemptive gameplay stuff. Yeah, Gameplay absolutely. settings. But so we've taken out two racers now, and now I just have this last one left. I'm going to try to catch up. So um, for people who are new to this series, um, you get a speed boost by, you know, tailing other cars. Mm -hmm. You get in the, you get that little tailwind. Um, and also racers in... Uh, police cars get um, get NOS, and you can spin that. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm playing on PS4 in this, and you spin uh -huh. that by pressing cross button. So, oh, oh you call yeah. it the cross button? Very interesting. I I I only said cross button because I'm on video, and I don't want people to be like, er, actually, uh, I usually say X button. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, he's a, this guy's a little, he's a yeah, he's a little rascal. He's trying to get away, but we're gonna catch him. I'm and a in this pro mode, racer. You, you don't again. have roadblocks and stuff like that. I don't. Mode? Not in this mode. This mode okay. is purely. Oh, I have to race oh. with them. Yeah. See this? Look at this guy. Oh. He just will not give up. But oh, we're gonna get him here in a second. It's gonna be a good time. Um, oh yeah, right there. There, there we is. go. Yep. Yep. So that's Need for Speed uh, Hot Pursuit Remastered. Um, it is going to be coming out. It's gonna be out November sixth on PS4, Xbox, and PC, and then November thirteenth on Nintendo Switch. Well, Alex, it was a pleasure. We'll have to do this again sometime with a different game. How about that? Sounds great, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for doing all the work. I just sit here and shoot my <laughs> mouth. Thanks for watching. I, wow. That person was really good at playing that game. Those other people were really good at talking about it, too. If you find yourself saying either of these things, subscribe to Game Informer on YouTube for new episodes of New Gameplay Today every week covering the hottest new and upcoming releases.